Hello everybody, this is me, Gabriel, and in this video we're going to talk about hardware accelerated decoding in Google Chrome. This is a very specific topic, I know many of you won't even know what I'm talking about, but basically let me explain it really quickly. So when you're watching a video in Google Chrome in Windows or Mac OS, that video is not being decoded on your CPU, it's being decoded in your GPU. So your CPU is basically free to do whatever it wants while the GPU does all of the processing, all of the loading and offloading of the video data, everything is done on the GPU. CPU does basically like minimal efforts to just kind of bring the data and that kind of thing, but most of the stuff is done on the GPU. Uh, so what's the problem? So the problem is that on Linux, for some reason, the Chromium developers do not want to enable this by default and I don't understand why I've been following this issue on the Chromium forum for years now like I guess since 2018 or 2019 and I don't understand why they still haven't turned this on by default I have read once that they said that this is a I don't know, like a security thing um, I really don't understand how this would affect the security but yeah anyways the good thing is that Firefox already enables this by default on Fedora, for example. If not, you can just go to the settings and enable that. Not like the actual settings, you have to go to about, uh, config, and then enable V8 API from there. But if you're on Chrome, it's a little bit more involved. So the weird thing also is that there was never actually a proper way to do this on Chrome on Linux, because every few months they change something and the flags just don't work anymore and I don't know it just and then some drivers break uh, it's it, there was always something preventing this from working on Linux but it seems that now they basically made all the changes they needed to make in order to make this whole thing come together and it seems that eventually they'll turn this on by default but for now, it may be that when you're watching this video, they already turned this by default, but um, turned on by default, I mean, but right now it's not. So yeah, I'm going to talk about that. Um, so one useful feature for this also is that, for example, Xbox Cloud Gaming uses the GPU to decode the video to not use your CPU a lot. Um, and that is not very useful on a desktop computer if you're playing a game like your CPU would be used anyways. But if you're playing on a laptop that is being run on battery, it's really useful to use GPU offloading for things like video decoding because GPUs are simply way, way more efficient for video decoding. Like they can use like a fraction of their power to decode a 4K, heck, even a 8K video. And the CPU, like modern CPUs will do the job just fine. But the older you go with CPUs, they'll use more power to decode videos. And of course, uh, Xbox Cloud Gaming uses H.264. So it's not a very heavy codec by any means, like any CPU mod more modern than 10 years ago will be able to decode those just fine. It's like 1080p 60fps video, so it's really not that heavy. But I mean, again, if you're on battery, that makes a lot of difference. So yeah, um, so let's say that you're a an user and you just came to this forum here and you know, it's the Arch Wiki, everyone loves it. I love it, I use it all the time. But man, holy smokes, what did they do with this section of the wiki? Like, hardware video acceleration. There's so many different commands here. Like, it's so chaotic. All the information is scattered around and you can't even, like... If you read this whole thing, if you actually pause the video and read this whole thing, you won't even know what to do. Like, seriously, they... Like, what are the correct options? I mean, what's going on? And I just followed this over and over again throughout the years and I got it to work once, but then it stopped working because of a new AMD Mesa driver that broke this whole thing. But now it works, but you just need the correct flags for it to work. So I actually found this post here on this website, which thank you Archer All Stars for making this, because you're seriously so goaded for making this. 
So they mentioned that now there was an, a new there was a new change on Chromium 131 that the options are actually different. So you can see here on this thread on this issue that the options changed and it is like it's changed here but it only tells you about this but you need way more stuff than that for it to work so if you actually come here in my case i have an amd gpu you can have an intel or nvidia if you have like the va api driver that turns that into nvdeck i don't know i stopped messing with nvidia on linux because i kind of gave up so yeah uh, if you have an nvidia gpu i'm not sure how that would work but i'm sure that intel and amd works really well so what you need to do is to actually copy this thing and open a terminal that i already have opened here and just type google chrome and then paste that thing so if you actually i'm not gonna do that because i already done it so it's running here uh this exact same command so if you actually run this command you can come here to chrome and then oh no not flex first gpu so on this address here you can have all the information about your gpu so you can actually see here the the command includes all of those commands um and if i scroll down here to video acceleration information i can see that h264 vp9 h265 and av1 are all uh accelerated um i mean hardware accelerated but it might be that these things will be here, but when you open a video on YouTube and you actually open NVTOP, so you can install this. Uh, in, in, in this case, it's telling me that I'm encoding because I'm recording this video on OBS. Okay, so I'm just going to open this LTT video here for a second. Uh, you can see here that encoding in this case is from OBS, but decoding is actually from Chrome. So actually, if I pause this and I come back here you see that it goes to zero in your case it might be that it's still not showing the coding here so what you need to do in, in your case I'm, I'm using fedora so in my case i actually have to come to chrome uh flags and enable this ozone platform to auto because it's going to use wayland instead of x11 so currently x wayland does not work with this you have to either use x11 on x11 or wayland on wayland and i also enable this text input v3 thing on wayland so i can write uh in chinese here yeah anyways uh after doing that it should work you can see here you can also come to inspect and here to more tools and then media and you see that the video here is true it's using hardware decoder and if you go to messages show you that the video decoder pipeline initialized successful so yeah again if you're having that uh initialized pool failed or something like that maybe just change to 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 the, this the ozone thing to wayland and that might be fixed anyways so that's it it's really useful i wish this was on by default i don't understand why it's not um I kind of love this because now you can use any Chromium based browsers on Linux using hardware acceleration and that is really, really good. Like that is something that changes everything and I'm not even joking. So cloud gaming, um, YouTube, TikTok, anything you open your browser will use those things. And again, if you're on Fedora, remember to install the codecs like H.264 and also to install Mesa VA drivers free world because you'll be able to decode all of the codecs you want and that your GPU uh, supports, of course. Um, again, Firefox already has this in an easier way. You can just enable that on about, uh, about config, but not all of us want to use Firefox, so this is useful, I guess. And yeah, thank you again for making this post here, Archer All Stars. You're really great. Um, also, it kind of sucks to keep typing this all the time. I know that on KDE you can actually edit the entry for the Google Chrome app and add these options. I'm not sure about GNOME, I tried editing like Google Chrome, the desktop file, and it just did not add those when I opened it. 
I'll still try to figure it out. And if I figure something out, I'll put it in the comments down below. So yeah, like this video if it helped you. See you next time. Bye bye.